Alright guys, one more game in the best of three between Darky and Compiador. The map is Meeting of Minds. Darky has got Tau, so a very good race for him and in fact looking very strong to win uh, game three. Uh, considering that Compiador has got Chaos again, he had Chaos the previous game and uh, guys, of, of course you've watched the previous two games, uh, you know these guys are tied one all, so the third game in the best of three is now up for grabs. And uh, whoever wins this will con uh, progress through to the round of eight. Whoever loses will be knocked out of the VRI tournament. Guys, this is Vol, and very excited to be commentating this game for you. Uh, Chaos Vo versus Tower on Meeting of Minds. Meeting of Minds, quite a good map for Tower. Uh, once Tau obviously gets all those Fire Warriors built up, it's going to be tough for Chaos to, to, to deal with that. So we'll see how things go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what I'd do uh, versus versus Tau as Chaos, but I'm thinking Raptors once again. I mean, previous game we saw a lot of Chaos Space Marines from Compiador, and uh, just general Chaos Space Marines, even if you've got heavy bolters and so forth, it's it's not really going to win you the game long term against Tau, uh, just building up so much firepower later on. As we can see, we've got a group of uh, Chaos Raptors here from Compiador, ready to start going har and harassing. So I will be homing in on these guys and following them around. I've got a very orange looking Tau Commander look uh, over here. Quite cool. I I'm really glad this random tournament has, is, has picked a lot of cool color schemes as well, because it's picking from the default color schemes, which are really nice. And uh, I'm really enjoying that in terms of commentaries. But uh, the Chaos Raptors heading straight into the Tau base are going to try and decap this point as soon as the uh, Stealth Suit's done with it. Here we go, there we go, and uh, and meanwhile the Tau Commander is doing some counter harassment over at the other side of the map, so Darky getting straight into it. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're really going to see some some uh, some diverse stuff from these players, uh, especially Darky, three different races across the, the whole best of three, and uh, we'll see whether he's he's the better all-round uh, Dawn of War player, uh, as opposed to, to Compiador, who is, a, is a, an Eldar specialist that we've seen. Oh, nice snipe there from the Tau Commander, killing that heretic. So uh, that was cool. Maybe he'll find the other one somewhere. But uh, second squad of Raptors chasing this Tau Commander around around the Chaos base. As you can see, the Chaos player, Compiador, hasn't actually picked up a plasma generator at all, so he's, he's really gone all out points capture. Oh, and uh, another heretic nearby. Is the Tau Commander going to focus on him? Uh, well, <laughs> Compidor has been quick and, and pulled him back anyway, so no chance of that. Another squad of, uh, uh, the, or the, the other squad of Raptors over here at the Tau side of the map, uh, far over at the 3 o'clock, decapturing points once more. So trying to keep the uh, Tau economy stalled, that's a good idea if you want to uh, prevent him from, um, from building up the Tau Warrior spam too quickly. And uh, Heavy Flamer added here from the Tau Commander and getting stuck into these cultists. Compidor's gonna have to flee because that's too much firepower for them to take. And our first first squad of Fire Warriors of the match, and it definitely won't be the last squad of Fire Warriors, I can tell you that, uh, starting to get some shots off of these, um, these Raptors and starting to inflict some heavier casualties. So that means the Chaos Raptors aren't gonna be able to hang around his, uh, his base for too long. Although, uh, if I were a Compidor, I'd probably be starting to harass those or at least attack those uh, Tau Fire Warriors in close combat with the, uh, the Raptors themselves. Tau Commander has returned to the, the his own side of the map to, to deal with one of those Raptor squads. And, uh, yikes. Very, very interesting start to the game. I think, I think in general, Compidor is doing better than he was the previous game with Chaos. He's, he's playing a little bit more aggressively and a bit more effectively. But, uh, it's still gonna be mission difficult later on up against the Tau and, uh, yeah, uh, with with the with the favorable matchup going towards the tail, especially for this map, uh, I'm probably going to say that my money's on Darky for taking this out. Here's the Crude Warrior Pack. I'm not too sure why he's gone for those. Maybe to uh, try and defend against the the Chaos Raptors in close combat. Although, mind you, the Chaos Raptors tend to be better than the Crude straight up one on one. I think. But uh, when you've got Fire Warriors uh, nearby shooting them while they're in combat, Chaos Raptors aren't going to stand a chance. Um, so, yeah, it just generally helps to have as many Fire Warriors squads as you can if you want to win. But uh, this looks pretty bad, uh, down to his last Raptor squad, and he, he probably will lose it. Ouch, lost an entire squad of Raptors there, and that's, that's pretty bad for Commodore. He should have, if he had a jump available, he should have jumped out, and if not, he should have just run for it. Because that's a waste of a squad, and uh, there's nothing much that he can do in terms of harassment. So that's that's pretty much harassment phase over for, for Commodore. And what is he doing with the Raptors still in combat? Pull him out of there, Commodore. Oh! Gosh, that was that was sloppy work there from Compiador. I've got to say, no offense to him, but 
Uh, unfortunately, the the combined crossfire of the LP2s and the tower base, as well as six minutes, all of those fire warriors made short work of the Raptors, and now the Chaos forces have nothing left to harass the uh, tower with, and it's going to be it's going to be difficult because we're going to see a lot of fire warriors now. We've got three squads worth of fire warriors. And uh, Daki doesn't need to reinforce them just yet. He just he's in, he's investing on in his economy right now, and then after the uh, economic boost starts kicking in, that's when he reinforces all of his uh, fire warriors and starts pummeling the chaos forces, as you'll see later, I suspect. And uh, this that single crew warrior squad, I, I believe that may have been a mistake from from Daki, uh, just judging by his comments uh, in game there. But still, you know, uh, having a squad of group fire warriors around is, is generally better than a slap, of, a slap in the face. Uh, they're decent units. Uh, oh, and finally, uh, this, this, this is actually some, some good progress here from the Chaos. Getting to tier 2, getting the sacrificial pit up, uh, and maybe getting some decent tier 2 units. The sorcerer would really come in handy against the tower. Uh, but uh, still, no matter what Chaos gets a tier 2, it's still going to be tough. I mean, they could go for vehicles as well. Vehicles uh, are pretty, pretty short work for... Uh, for well, the stealth suits once they've been upgraded with the fusion blasters and EMP grenades and so forth. But uh, I mean, against the fire warriors, you can at least sort of get in, get in there with predators or or, or, um, or maybe maybe hell talents to delay the, the tower a bit, get get rid of some of their points while you're taking a tier three. We'll see how it goes. We're still in plasma generation phase for the tower. No shrine of uh, well, what do you call that thing? Path to. Uh, in enlightenment, path to enlightenment, that's what it's called. So I had a temporary mind lapse there where I couldn't remember the name of that tower tech building. But uh, the Chaos Commander inside the, the tower base here just getting a few uh, a few glances at as, as to what, what uh, Computer is actually doing. Yeah, and uh, here's the double hero combination for Chaos. We've got the Chaos Lord and the uh, the Sorcerer. We've got, <laughs> we've got a snare trap in the middle of it as well, so managed to, uh, Chaos has managed to destroy that. Computer managed to get rid of it. And here's a squad of uh, Corn Berserkers. So, again, uh, going for the Corn Berserkers choice is going to be really hard because of those snare traps around. Uh, if if he had some better ranged troops as well, maybe he could pick off the snare traps before running in there with the, the Berserkers. But uh, as it stands, it's going to be quite tough. For him to actually take out uh, the fire warriors if he's been slowed by the snare traps first, and with a lot of fire warriors now starting to reinforce them, uh, things are going to get tough. Looks like Computer's decided to head around the, the hill there and is going to try and flank, but the fire warriors are well aware of this, uh, setting up position in the choke, just getting their, their guns set up and, and ready to start blazing away with plasma. And as you can see up in the distance, the chaos forces aren't really liking that. Computer setting up a flank here, but unfortunately that flank is stalled because. One prong of his little uh, two-pronged attack there has been <laughs> has been slowed by the snare trap, and as you can see, the the corn berserkers just aren't getting in range. Oh, nice, nice spell there from the sorcerer, actually uh, chucking the chain.